this meeting of the Walsall Town Council Board. If you would please stand with the invitation. I stand in the pledge of allegiance. My invitation now will be given by Rick Mac Lover, who is the pa pa excuse me, pastor of the Bonnet Pond Community Church. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to serve you in this capacity today, dear God. I just ask you today to empower us, dear Lord, with your strength. Guide us with your spirit today, dear Lord, as we do everything. I mean everything into the glory of God, dear Lord. That way we may be able to make a difference in this community, make a difference, dear God, in our families and in this world. I ask you to empower this council meeting tonight, dear God, and let you allow your grace to come in and do what we cannot do, Father. We depend upon you, lean upon you in every area, in every aspect of our lives, Father. We need you today to come in, Father. Let Walsall be known as a county, as a city, dear Lord, that brings glory to God in everything that it does. We thank you today, and we're going to give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Brother Lord. Good to have you with us tonight. We're going to thank for all of our meetings. We're trying to use our local pastors because Walshaw is kind of the, we want to thank the Kitchen of Town yes. of, of the rural area. And we appreciate you being able to come and be Thank you. It's an honor and a privilege. Thank you. It's an honor and a privilege. God bless you. Careful for one moment. Yes, sir. Also, even though it appears farther down on the agenda, as, as I think it does with the county commission and the town commission, uh, we want to remind everyone if you want to speak tonight there is a time there is a, a sign in a sheet and there is a time we're not as particular about the time as we are that we do need for the records for you to sign in so if you come in and you're going to speak and you're not on the agenda uh, please let us know so we can get a sign in sheet as we go along okay. is uh <coughs> Mr. on his way he's trying yeah. he's trying to Sorry. He's trying to make it back. Okay. Okay. Here's the on down. You want to wait? Okay, good. Okay. Mr. Hawkins is here for a special presentation, so we'll we'll just uh, uh, see if, if he'll get here. All right. Having received our agendas and having had an opportunity to look at it, we hope. Um, uh, what's the pleasure of the board on the consent agenda? Is there any items that needs to come off for the discussion? Is there any item that we don't understand what it is that we need to talk about what we're doing? Okay, what's the pleasure of the council? Make a motion to accept it. We have a motion to approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? I second. We have a motion and a second on the consent agenda. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hey, vote, Mr. Colbert. Aye. Mr. Carter. Aye. Mr. Carter. Aye. Hold on. Aye. Yes, Okay. Uh, James is running a little late here. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Goodman. And is that is that also the sign in as well as no, the two 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 times. Two times. Okay, good. All right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead with your uh, property at thirty. 572 Washington Street. The biggest problem with people driving through the yard, the ones coming from the south is not there. The ones leaving the Tom Thumb coming through the front yard are strange. After had a call this afternoon, they'd get the sheriff off the back there and get it involved again. They got tore up to be the south side of the yard when he left, screaming on the highway with his tires. I had a very big out. Officer Brock come down and told me that the boss hole. Code enforcement said it had to be moved. I moved it until the night until we could come up with something. Okay. And I, I've got two small grandkids and one of them is dead. And that's the reason that I put the barrier to not stop me. Dad said, what the, the traffic's coming out of the Tom Thumb parking lot where we are. I got up at 5.30 on Saturday morning. The pictures are there. I had five milk trucks sitting in my front yard. They come through from the south that morning, and all the trash cans over. When you try to say something to them, you got to deal with a bunch of smart ones. 
You can't call the sheriff's office every time you get a dump truck parking lot. I guess I'm, I've got a question. Um, you said that, that the officer told you that the town of Falls Hall's code enforcement well, officer. Code enforcement called the sheriff's office. Yes. We don't have a code enforcement officer. No, that's my understanding too. So, so we don't know who called it. I will go as far as tell you this. I called the gun attorney. Called the attorney gun. He told me we can pull the tape from the sheriff's office and go from there and see. I'd rather not take that one. There. Also been home 15 years. I didn't move out there to stir up no trouble. I just, I just want to take care of my kids. Does anyone from uh Council have a question or a comment? Are you written or by? By. So therefore the trucks are the trucks are parking is actually on your property. Yes, yeah, ma'am. One of them was so close to the sign, when he came back, it came to near him on, on his truck. The sign will be down hopefully soon. What would you say of you had a barricade or or something there. I, I really how, how, was it, how was it? How was it placed? And what? What? What are you looking at? There's not anything in the picture. There's not anything in the picture. It's just wood barricades that cost to take out one into the other. See, I think, I think, and and we all need to express here. I think what we got there is that is that that's a state right of way. Exactly. And you join the state right of way. You don't join anything with the city. The city, the city doesn't have a code enforcement officer, right. so I don't know what the city can do for you. Uh, if you, they're parking on the right of way. No, sir. Actually, they're parking on my property, the sidewalk. The sidewalk, yeah. And, and state of Florida can't park drive or park on sidewalk parking. Okay. Well, I, I, okay, right. That's what I'm saying. That's a right of way problem. That's a state of Florida problem. Yeah. The, the is that the right way, is that right way stop in the back of the or is it stop in that, uh, that, that right way sits back about that fence line back there just further to the back. Yes, sir. So they're, 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 they're parking on the right way. Not, not, to the they may be in your yard too, but they're mostly on the right way. Well, actually, no, actually, they're, they're basically in, on the sidewalk, they're about three foot behind the curb. When they come off the Tom Thumb side, they're actually on the Tom Thumb property, my property, and the state's property. Mayor, I would suggest, uh, be honest, if you can't get a hold of somebody with the state and find out where the legit work is right now. And I would say the back end of that end on your car. That is that is as we speak. He's there right now. No, that was the other day. That was the other day. That was Monday morning. One this afternoon, if my wife hadn't moved. He was slung rocks all over when he tore out of my yard when I asked him to move. I got pictures. I guess it, and, and, and I can, if you don't know where they are, I can show you some of the, some of the right way markers. Oh, and about, yeah. and about where your front tire is here or, or your bumper there, between you and that truck, it's going to be about that. The, the Tom Thumb sign is on their property, but it looks up almost to the right way. That, the Tom that, Thumb that sign is three foot off the right way marker. Right. And so, so your, your truck, Looking at, looking at your truck, you're across, you're across the right of way. You're on the right of way, front end of your truck. That's actually where the deputy told me to park. I, I, I understand. I'm not saying that you don't have a reason. I'm just trying to just establish that, <coughs> that if, they're, the if, they're from, if they're from where your truck is, about this sign, three feet from that sign, that way is the it's a DOT right away. But look where his tires are. His tires are on the side of I understand. Yeah. It, it, it's not our sidewalk seat. Uh, on the state, it is Walsall's sidewalk. 
Who told you that? The director. We didn't take over the maintenance of the sidewalk. Because he told them the only way he could do anything is if that bear team, if we put the bear team back out there, they put the bear team drop him off the front. I'll say, outside, the other side of the sidewalk, I don't care. But when they come from the bird to the house, you know, I got concerned with my kids. Yes, sir. I understand. But I guess what I'm trying to hit, I hope to hit you to understand is that in neither instance there does the city have an interest. It's not our, uh, we're not, it's not that we're not interested in you. We don't have a, a tangible interest in the, in, in, we don't have in the right of way. And then once they get on your yard, that's private property. That's still yeah. not. To the city. Um, and being somebody, so, somebody help me. That being because your property puts up with the state right away line, correct? That's right. Well, so I'm a So basically, I can go back and put my barricade back where the officer told me I can put it. it if, you, if you want to say that someone from this council called the, and, say, and, and, and identify the officer as a code, right, a code officer. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking it may be uh, a neighbor, or maybe a passerby, about maybe a truck driver. We, we, we don't know who it may be. Uh, it'd be speculation on our part to, to talk about that. But, uh, you might inquire with somebody in the agency, well, they have a problem. They have a problem. They put up something more permanent since it puts up like that. Uh, and there are things I'm sure can definitely tell you matter of minutes if he, was, if he wanted to. You know, he may not want to be more of the ambassador to someone else. But that would be my suggestion here if it's come to that. Well, the, the state said they got some points set up. They got the one there at the, the other corner, one of the south corner of the fence up side of them, and they've got one there at the lot of them, the north of them. Have you spoken to anyone with DOT or with no, or no, Highway Patrol? Highway Patrol told me to block it off. He said that's, that's the easiest thing to do is block it off and you, you saw the problem. This is, may not be a time for liberty, but if the highway patrol said do it, that's exactly what I think I'd do. Well, I mean, I'm going to put the barricades out there, and uh, I'll say that's called the big yard and You see, I, I guess I'm telling, I guess I'd say to you, we can't give you permission to put it back out there because we didn't give you permission to put it there shortly. Does, does the town council have a problem with putting the barricades back out? Because that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Mm -hmm. I don't want no problem with God. Dion, does your property come to the edge of the sidewalk right here? No, ma'am. Right down the sidewalk right here, your property don't come there? No, ma'am. My property is going to be about three foot from this line right here, about the front of the truck. If I understood the state of that. It's going to be a bat with that road that changes. Right in here. Well, this right here is a 15 foot road that they repaid on the, they come to and paid 77 the last time, and they overpaid the approach. But the man told me it's probably going to be about three feet from the front car of that truck right here. He back, wouldn't swear. Back towards your house. No, ma'am. Back towards your side. Well, he won't swear to it. Leon, it's going to have to go back this way because this is, this, this is three feet of the right way. So three feet from here, it's going to be about here. It's going to be about in front of your truck. Well, no, not according to the way that the land blocks up. I didn't understand it either. I still think it would be a issue coming down the yeah. I think if you're asking the city, we don't care. That's probably okay. okay. I think that's a mistake to see. Y'all have a lot of the work. What's that, Trey? Y'all have a parking ordinance? Yeah. Yeah, and then one of the burner. Just for both of them. And our car. Yeah, that's what we're saying. It's all the way the DOT will put up any no parking time because it has to come to the goal to the end part. I mean, it can go from there. They tell us to see you that. Do you know? The DOT told you that. They told me that they can't put up nothing unless the town wall saw the question.
I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Parking between the signs or something? Is that a hell? I'll tell you what Adams Columbia told me. Those are the worst ones to start with. I got over there both men and got that stopped. One come in the next morning, got off the bed. I went out and asked him to move. He said, I guess you want to call my boss. I said, I should around. I said, but I got two small kids here. I got a five-year-old grandson that's dead. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you want to be calling with us now. I'll say it, 90% of it is the traffic coming out the Tom Thumb going south. Well, it's been access and open for so long. Yeah. And you, you're, you're by between the fence on that side and and the property line, you're by the whole, the whole oh, property. Oh, I wouldn't have a problem with the council would do for us to ask DOT to put no parking between signs or something like that. Mr. Cruiser here is a guest, and, and, and you told us you'd come from time to time. If we talk about anything that gets over into your area that you'd like to check on and help us with this, and we can make a formal request if you need us to. But I think DOT, you need to talk to DOT, and I think is when you had to barricade up, was it on was it on your side of the property line or was it on the state side of the From property line? From my state. You can't, they won't let you put anything. If it's on your land, and, there, and as long as it's not a code violation with the with the town of Walsall, I don't I think that's fine. I think that's fine. But it but but the but whatever form of barricade, whether you you know you drive down two states and Pull a string and or whatever form of barricade. I, I just think the barricade has got to be on your land. It can't. It can't cross over onto the state's property. You see, that's where we're running into the problem. Yeah, it can't be on there. Because it's eleven foot from the from the Tom Thumb pole to the sidewalk. Yeah. Even where Officer Rock come up the other night and we talked about where the truck sat that there's still eleven foot there. And Bell Sheet did that eleven foot at forty mile an hour. That's where a sign needs to be put. Maybe the state would uh, request it, Mr. Mayor, that they could put a sign that there are no parking passed this point south. And maybe that'll help. I mean, it's still going to give you, what, nine feet to go through there, but you're not supposed to be on the sidewalk, right? You, you know, do you know the traffic control officer is for the DOT? No, sir. Do we need to make a motion? Can we just ask for to send a letter to uh, DOT asking them to assist uh, Mr. Goodman and property owner of Warsaw by seeing if we can place some do not park between signs or no park between signs? I don't know that that will, but if they put the sign out, maybe it will. If, if they park on the sidewalk, that still is not going to be something we can hit it with. I, I don't think tonight. Now, if there's something in, but when they resurface that, it's going like the sidewalks on Highway 90, I believe, Chair, uh, former police chief, those, those sidewalks are still maintained by DOT. Um, so these, these sidewalks still belong to DOT. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they, you know, over the years, I, I went to the, you know, to the uh, city manager, the city of Chipley, and say, you know, hey, I need something corrected here. And if it's on that state road, it don't matter if it's in town. The first thing they do is call DOT. Yeah. They don't. Exactly. They don't mess with it. I'm right. Yeah. They you can't see, touch it. No, the only thing the, the FHP got told us was if they're on that sidewalk, and I call Washington County, Washington County can actually come up and check. If I call FHP, he may be in Egypt. Would you, would you please send a letter to the DOT and, and uh, ask me about that? And would you talk to the Sheriff's Office for that in case their command person needs to talk to his patrol officers? And, and so they're all, so they're all doing the same thing. Put Philip Danger to be talking to Philip. He's in, he's in the big chair now. Is he the director now? Yeah. Okay. He'll, 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 get to, he'll get to the right person. Yeah. Does <coughs> that hit you? No, that's good. Do the whole can, okay? All right. Well, now. <coughs> hey, man, now, sir. Captain, how are y'all doing? Doing good. How are you doing? Doing, 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 doing really good. Doing hey, uh, we uh, give you a little rundown of what we got going on out there now. We have uh, two teams that are formed. We got a seven, eight year old uh, machine pitch team, and we have a nine, ten year old boys team. We uh, 
we're not having the turnout that we had last year, and a lot of it is, I don't know, we're just not having the, the coaches and the parents come out and show uh, the interest that we did last year. Uh, Tommy Hall, is, you know, as you know, he went down. He was a big help to me last year. Uh, we're still trying to form a 7, 8-year-old girl team and also an 11 and 12-year-old girl team. And uh, I, I keep, they keep telling me we're going to have these teams, but I've yet to see them. Yeah. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to keep pushing it off until we have the uh, scheduling meeting. And the scheduling meeting, I have to, we're going to have to either have a team or not. So, uh, and I don't know when that's going to be. It'll probably be another week or two before I have a meeting. But they tell me that we are going to have a 7, 8-year-old team. That was the one that Tony was trying to form. And I talked to Tony, and he told me the players was out there at the Whitfields that suppose the coach the team hasn't got back with me. Now, we're having issues with uh, the girls' side. A uh, certain person in Vernon raised the flag and went to the state director. Instead of going to the district director, uh, I guess they have a problem with us and Ebro uh, recruiting or bringing uh, players out to play. And my, my thought on that is if a uh, city is losing talent, maybe they need to look at their own program. Uh, the way I look at it is if I'm at a church or whatever and someone comes in and they need a home, then they got a home. I don't ask them where, where they, no, no one where they come from. But uh, I still don't know what the outcome is on that. Uh, we may franchise with Ebro. Ebro and us may be one franchise on the girls' side. They'll have teams and we'll have teams and at the end of the year we can play all-stars. But the bottom line, it don't really, it don't really affect us. Uh, we can still play, so I'm not really worried about it. But when it comes to All Stars, we can go to Frank Brown Park and uh, join a, a, a tournament there, and we can make that our All Stars. It's just, I just don't understand why someone would try to discourage a kid from playing ball, and that's the way I take it. And you, you mentioned Tony. I visited him in the hospital on uh, Friday. I think he came home yesterday, or the plan was for him to be home yesterday. He's in the hospital. <coughs> He's back in the hospital. I heard. He's in the hospital. I have a bag. Okay. Okay. Uh, he, I saw him in the, in the rehab, and, and he called in, and he had all the girls in there with him, his family, and all like that. And his his heart then need to get back and get out there and start helping those girls. So his he's when he's able. And he said he should be 100% within a year, but when he's able, I think we'll have. We had some parents step up and uh, right. you know said they were going to take over the program, but I have I, I haven't seen the team yet. That's why I'm getting. Yeah, sure. I keep saying we're going to do it, but I haven't seen it yet. So you know, and I, there's only me. How can we get in touch with the girls, the Lady Treasure Rollers? Because their season ended today. They're supposed to be coming. We've had some on sign up already. They're supposed to be coming as soon as their season goes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're playing. From from Jason Rudd. Rudd tell school, yeah. Jason Rudd's supposed to be running that. Jason Clinton. And I keep telling them that it's fine, but when it comes, I, I, I can't push it off after we schedule, we start doing the scheduling meeting, I have to have a team. When's the schedule? We don't know. We don't know that yet. It's probably going to be within the next couple of weeks. Just the off the wall question, James, how many, how many players do you need to complete the team? Well, right now, I don't know. How many, how many we have signed? Huh? For which team? So for the 11 and 12 uh, girls. I've only gotten two applications for the 11 and 12 year olds, but I have six for the 7 and 8 girls. Is there a roster we can pull off from from last year, the girls? No, there wasn't no girls team last year. Okay. Yeah, I was on the We program. were co ed, yeah. We were co ed last year. So it's something new. Uh, the other thing is, I don't live around here anymore. I live in Nova. So I'm going to have to step down because I can't give the time that I've been given. Now, I, uh, I'm going to run it, you know, I can run the thing up until the, to the end of the month. But I need someone to help me and we need to advertise the position because I'm not given, I can't give the time and effort that I've been given to this. I, uh, my Alyssa over here has been helping me from day one and she's going to continue to help me, but we need to sit down and figure out how we're going to advertise this. I don't want to let it go. I'm going to coach the 9 and 10 year olds for the rest of this year. But as far as uh, all the other stuff, it's, it's bogging me down. You know, I, I can't, uh, I don't have the time to put into it. Now, I will run it until the end of the month, and I think that would give you guys enough time maybe to advertise it. But there's some talent out there. I can, you know, I can give you names of people that's been helping me with the program, and it's got an interest in Walsall, and I think that's a big plus. Yes. But other than that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to step down, guys. We advertised, uh, we advertised for 
It took us well over a year, I said two years, before, well, we, we, before we get that. Well, we didn't. We didn't because we got it. We got it. Yeah, from uh, Minnesota and all other kind of places. I think people would come here paying sixty thousand dollars a year. There's a maybe there's a better solution. You might you could move from nothing back to Walsh that. that would, <laughs> I would love to. It's just not in the card right now. I, I can tell you though from from uh, running the program for a year, you got some people that are interested in the kids here in Walsall. The, the, what I've built is not just about baseball, it's about other things. So I think if you guys would look around, and uh, like I said, there's been a couple people that's helped me from day one, that's probably put just as much effort into this as I have. And uh, I believe they would do you guys good if the, if the town got behind them and supported them. Which I can't do anything without your support either. So, uh, James, you said Alyssa? That's it. Uh, it's from day one. Yes. Would yeah. you have an interest in uh, stepping over? Oh, okay. I know you have to advertise it. But I'm just curious. You can't appoint somebody part time or in this place. Because Boston is used to get started. We have time. Like I said, I guess I'm going to run with it until the end of the month. So I'll just keep going with it. But it's, it's bogging me down, and, and i got other things going on, and I can't, you know, I, I just can't keep going like I'm going. I think, I think to answer your question, I don't think there's anything. Do that. We don't have a real formal program. I think the problem that we might look at down the road is if we appointed somebody and then when we took applications, they were not the one who got the job. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it, 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 it could be. We kind of gonna do that a couple of times over the years with the maintenance plans and one thing or another. But, but I'm not opposed to that at the end of the month comes and, and, he, and he can't give us a few more days because if we advertise now, so we won't meet again until April the 8th or 9th or 13th. And I'm willing to help whoever steps in. Like I said, I'm not bailing out on this thing. Sure, we understand. We, we, we know I'm you're not bailing out. We know your circumstance, yeah. We thank, you, we thank you for what you've done in the last year and a half. It is well, I don't want to see the program. Not anything less than amazing. I don't want to see the program fall. That's the main thing. And we did a lot of a lot of things through this year. You know, the, I had kids out there fishing that never fished before in their life. You know, we did fish fries, and uh, that's the kind of stuff. And we talked about getting the basketball goals up. You know, and uh, like I said, we have you have people up here that, that is willing to do this. And uh, you know, I'm just letting you know there is talent there has been helping me. And I think if you advertise it, you'll find some people that will stand up and want, want to continue this on. Ms. Judy, I know it's, uh, been, you've been the liaison, do you, do you have a recommendation or suggestion or something? Was you aware of what we just heard? In? Yes, I was aware. Okay. Somewhat. But, um, Only idea I have is to appoint somebody that's part time to take applications. With the understanding that if you don't get paid, you don't get paid. You know, you can go by the guidelines in the, in the, on the application.
we need to advertise, and of course we'll have to do the drug screen and all the things that employees would have to do. But uh, what we can have back and check for what we can have. We we've got somebody for for uh, 21 more days. I'm going to hold it, boss, until if I got to run it till the end of the baseball season, I will. But it'd be nice if I could let it go to the end. I got the umpires. Well, that, that helps us, but we will, we will, because we understand your circumstance, we will move as quick as we can. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, just in general, how long will it take us to advertise and go through applications and drug tests, or physical, whatever you have to do to get hired? Once we advertise it, once we hold one way with the post applications, uh, then we can hold a special meeting if y'all desire to, to hire somebody. It's only a matter of a date in the we get the results back to Thomas immediately in the group. So we can do that. Yeah. So we can do the whole. The problem before was uh, uh, this liaison, and, and, and I think we can offer you the same person with this liaison. They gave him a minute over, over, brought back some more, like four or five, and of course we'll have his input, and I didn't have it. And then we had to just lay them aside and, and recruit. Is that about the way it happened? Because we didn't get no applications that were even yeah. in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the ones that came, and, and when you advertise, when you do a more broad advertising like we did then, you get people that's looking for a professional right. play, uh, mm -hmm. sports uh, right. director. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what's the sense you can advertise? Monday, mm -hmm. Monday morning, and <coughs> Friday or Monday, 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 Monday,
Does anybody yes. from the council like to say anything to Mr. Hawkins or to Mr. Ruth? Yes. Thank you. I thank you. If we never help, please talk all the way. Trey, thank you so thank much. Thank you. We got it on tape, I think. Yeah, I got it. We got it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, I, Aaron, I'm going to take through this group. <laughs> Trey, hold on a second. I, I like to also, because you do the same thing. You oh. reach out to the community, or it's Chipley, Walsall, Ebro, Vernon, the kids. You know, to me, that's your biggest part. It's, if it's a kid, you're going to help. And uh, I ain't got a plan to you, but I will, <laughs> I will give you that. I'm going to tell you, I appreciate that. Over the years of us working hand in hand and somewhat doing stuff there at Vernon, it's hey, appreciated, buddy. Appreciate the knowledge, but it's not necessary. Thank y'all and have a good night. You too, sir. Thank you. All right, that brings us back to the unintended audience. And Randy, you aren't on the agenda, but you're here because. Paul has some information on your call. Okay, so. Uh, you may not want to hear it. I have. By county code. You have to have an 18 inch pipe. It's got to be M12 rubber or a galvanized coating. It has to be minored on both ends. The counter will install it for $350. But you have to buy the pipe. Do I have to have the county install it? It's, I don't know if they have to do it. I think they probably have to approve it. No, you can it have it installed. It has to be to their, to their standards. Well, well, now, we, if we have to purchase dollars, if we have, let's, let's be careful. If we have to permit it, we don't, we don't permit it. It has to be permitted by the county. And they are our maintenance. I, I think I think that she may have to have the I think you may have to have the county to install it. That gets to, that gets to be it, that's getting to be an expensive for you, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And you can put concrete over the top of it. Okay. So I got by a car and I have to pay the county three fifty to install it. And for the pipe. And that, that includes for the pipe, right? Yeah, yeah, pay for the culverts. You don't have to pay for that. Yeah, and I got to pay for the The county, mm -hmm. that 350 includes them digging it, covering it up, and putting the concrete on each end, minor. Okay. Right. Now, I think, the, I think the position that you find yourself in now is that whoever came there before didn't do all of that. That's possible. But it right. But once it goes in there permeated, that become it becomes then ours of the county. So if it ever has to be replaced, then, it, then it's our expense after that. But the first expense is yours. That's fine. I have a question though, because when we first bought that property, we had I had to pull apartments to get that culvert inspected. So has the code changed since then? Because they they approved it. And this is probably. 13 years ago. The material, the material I think, is what's changed. You used okay, to get used together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to have the, the, the uh, modern color. I've never heard the name of it. It's that rubber, uh, hard, hard dash rubber. No. Or either the galvanized has to be asphalt and co coated now. Have they said where you can purchase this from? Like surplus carries it? Do we know <coughs> who? Townsend. 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 You can get it at Townsend. And they'll probably deliver it for you. Okay. All right. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. If, if it's all right with you, Mr. Uh, you may just get in touch with uh, who's on our side now. Is it Dan or uh, no. I mean, uh, Dan Jackson. Dan. Dan, Dan. Dan. Okay. Just, just ask Dan to give you the specs, and and they may even have it delivered to the county yard for you or something like that. And you might have pay for the pipe and the permit all at one time. You may want to talk to, to, to them to see if there's something they can do there for you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I asked them about how she buy the pipe from the county. Uh huh. And they said no. Yeah, I don't think she can buy it from the county. No. But if she buys it, if she buys it from uh, Townsend, 
they can deliver there until they're ready to put it in rather than lay it right. off on the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Sunday, take my call for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you. Y'all have a great night. Okay. Thank you for coming. Hey, and uh, Dion again. Oh, uh, two years ago you were asking about doing a, a week long Christmas live at TV Center. Go down to Sunday City Hall. Two churches actually heard you or somebody else talking about that. There's two churches that actually willing to participate in that. And they won't know if y'all are still interested in it. We know, we, we know what you talking about the Lions Nativity scene. Well, they from this year. They'd come out here from mm -hmm. 6 to 8, 7 to 9, some, some period of time in the yeah. evening, dress up as the shepherds, the wise men, the manger, and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I've, I've seen this in in numbers of places, it's always a beautiful thing. I would be in favor of it. Uh, don't know. Would you? I see, I see heads nodding. I don't hear anything rattling, but I see heads nodding. Mm -hmm. okay. So I can tell them you have to. Which way do you know about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Do you need that in a motion? I would say. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna might have to bring it up the next fire meeting. If, if the fire department still wants to do Easter, we want to start setting scheduling up a boss palace a year in advance. I've got chafed extremely. <coughs> we actually did not have and I think I think uh well the, the public the public don't look at it, you know. I can honestly say I work with the best volunteer fire department in the world. I put I put our guys up against anybody, like, whether it's on a fire, uh, a fundraiser, whatever. We have some that is dedicated; they're going to be there. We got some that's dedicated; they're going to be at the fire. Sam Blue has said it out on the how many times. Every person on that department has its own act. But when it comes down to it, we may fuss and fight amongst ourselves, but we're a department. If, if we're going to do so, there's no sense in waiting to the last minute to, to say, let's do it. And, and the possibility is going to be without... without no, no, sir. They do it years in advance. But if we know it in time, they can change theirs, you know, from the... If they want it the Saturday before East, before <coughs> Easter, want, before you Easter. Correct. You want it not it, the day not, before not Easter. Easter? No, not Easter. Right. The Saturday... The weekend before Easter weekend. Yeah. yeah. You don't want it on Easter weekend. You don't want it on that Saturday. You want it on that Saturday. So, the week before. Weekend so what before. we need to do is go ahead if we can advance the fire department and every year we have to look on the calendar to see what the date is. It's going to change a day or two one way or the other. Yeah. And, and just, just to clarify, this is not the fire department that's putting this on. We understand. This is the members of the fire department that put it on. And goes by any other name, smells the same. <laughs> One particular pastor that sort of checked me, he didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. He said, the fire department wants to have you know, a special pool with pot I said, the pot is there for the people. It, it, it don't belong to the fire department. It don't belong you know, to no one person. Do you want to uh, come back at a later time over the fall and let us know what week you want to run it? Or I, I need to know that from city council because you done volunteered to do the hot chocolate and coffee. <laughs> the person that told me about this and reminded me about it Monday, he said, I distinctly remember Roger Dale saying that they would supply the hot chocolate and coffee. I get that. <laughs> Two weeks before Christmas. I need you to speak in the microphone. I can't hardly hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Hot chocolate is a, is a very small uh, contribution to what I think you're looking for the comments, the we, get a, we, get a little, we get a lot of people driving that new asphalt. The, the compliments that we got the year that we done it up at the Boston Bell was unreal. Yeah. It was yeah. unreal. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll look at the calendar in December and what you want to do with that. <coughs> I've got the 11th, which is a Monday. Christmas is on the 25th, Dion. 
In two weeks before that would be the 11th of December. So yeah, we got two days. Uh, when, when was the perfect break? The second Saturday of December, 10 a.m. That's the 9th. That's the 9th. That's good. The week before. The week, week before, before you know, Christmas, we were running up to the night of the Christmas parade. That'll be the first. that be the first week of December. Then. It's one week or two weeks. Don't tell me. I, I'm here. Lord willing, and my paycheck stays the same, and Mr. T.D. Smith stays happy with me. I'm not going nowhere. We could run from Thanksgiving until December the ninth, or the Friday after Thanksgiving or something. I just yeah, need to know I'm, how many churches that I need to get involved. Well. I don't the ball of the people, I don't want to be the devil's advocate. So I, I do I do know that sometimes it, it's a lot easier to, to volunteer than it is to bring it forward. And I don't know which churches you are, and I'm sure that all of our churches have good intentions, but but you can make it so long and you can have a freeze in the night and you'll you'll be out by yourself. Yep. I, I'm just being a realist about I, that. I, I would not go over two weeks with a period. I mean a week the first year and we'll see how it runs and then if, if it turns out all, we'll do two weeks next year. I said, why don't we start with one week? Yeah. So, I'd like to say a month, and that's a personal thing. But, uh, you want to run in the month? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see it a month. So, y'all would like to do it from the 4th of December and then the parades the 9th? Yeah, that's the 9th. 4th through the 8th. Then if it's feasible, we'll carry it on for another week. I mean, y'all do it New Year's for us. I mean, y'all do it 365 days a year, five yeah. a week. Hey, hey, when them red trucks roll out there, we'll not be there. I yeah. hope not. <laughs> okay, all right. Can we'll, can we'll agree now that we'll, we'll plan to have a live nativity unless Mr. Goodman comes back and tells us something different on uh, December the 8th through the 4th or the 8th. 4th or the 8th. 4th or the 8th. Anything for a long time. Can reserve the crossing palace for the Easter weekend, every weekend, the weekend before Easter each year. Weekend before Easter. I guess you could call it Palm Sunday Eve. Is this a Saturday before Palm Sunday? Palm Sunday weekend. Yeah. It has not to be confused with Easter weekend. And, and Mark, we would have to have Apostle Palace that weekend on Sunday morning as well. So that's actually what I got changed about. On Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday. So we done it the Sunday after, didn't we, Sam? Or did we do it Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday is already sunrise. Sunrise. Sunrise on Easter Sunday. Yeah, it's always down there on Easter Sunday. We won't possibly vote that one. Well, it's always the sunrise service. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Mr. Stanley. Please, you don't do that. Okay. If he comes back, if he comes back in, he can see it. He might have got a call. He may, he may have. <laughs> All right, that gets us through the non-agenda audience. Is there anyone that didn't sign in that wants to speak? Anybody in the audience? Okay. All right. Ms. Morgan? Well, the table balance was, y'all asked me to check with Mr. Goodman about the code enforcement ordinance. I uh, sent him an email that y'all wanted to add fines to, the, and as far as I know, he's working on that. Also on the table items is the part of part time maintenance that was tabled. Does it still need to be tabled? Yes. yes. Okay. And the fire ordinance, uh, Sam's got a committee on this now, and they're supposed to be back here at the April meeting with their revisions. Correct, okay. Sam? And our flood ordinance, the final reading on that will be at the April 13th meeting. Mm -hmm. On the road closure, okay. on the road closure, uh, it's my understanding that both parties are, Mr. Wood is not going to petition and I think Ms. Carter is pulling her petition at this time, so that's just going away. But we do need to set her. Okay, yeah. Ms. Judy, we had to put the hearing right now, this is still an active thing. You need to be satisfied, and, and you can always come and do it again. Right, just leave it like it is. Right, uh, we probably need a motion. Okay. okay, because we've held a public hearing and uh, and had input already, 
the chair would accept a motion that would withdraw Ms. Carter's petition to close a portion of uh, Second Avenue at this time. I'll make a motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hey, vote, Mr. Carter. Yes. Mr. Carter. Yes. And I'll vote yes, and I'm assuming that you will stay. All right. Okay. As far as I know, uh, Mr. Goodman is still from, uh, going to conduct the elected officials training class tomorrow afternoon from 1 to 3 p.m. I have not heard any different. I will contact him in the morning first thing to make sure, but as of this afternoon, Jonah said he was going to be here. You have in your packets a proposal for utility building service. Our current service is doing well. This is for y'all to look at in your time, spare time. It's a it's a very good program. It will allow us, that, at no charge to us, to accept credit cards. It will charge the customers if they want to use them. But it will, you know, has a lot of uh, uh, good items in it that uh, we can use. And they also have sent us some information on a website if we want to go through them for a website for $125 a year. But I didn't get that this afternoon, so it's not in your package, but I'll read it to you. Yeah, it's on the, uh, right after your uh, ordinance. What does, what does it do with the number? Is, it, is there any advantage to it? Really? It'll, 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 well, it'll generate the reports in Excel in a readable format. I already now do it. You know, we can send that to the auditors. We'll integrate with our QuickBooks uh, a little better. It, it gives a lot more uh, features than we have now through El Dorado. And there, there is several communities around us that's using it, Cottondale. Uh, now, to use the credit card, is that going to be accept that? Is that going to create a charge for us? Well, no. Somebody gets charged, either the customer, customer gets charged. They're willing to take that charge, they're made aware of that charge up front. But this is just something for y'all to look at to see if anybody <coughs> wants to go this route. You know, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we're not losing any time, but gaining quite a bit. Oh, you know, we can put a lot of stuff on the ground. You can build and pay online, you know, if you want your email statement instead of a paper statement, it'll, it'll post those to the email. You don't have to leave the paper. Uh, This is, you know, this is something that we'll, we may look at in budget time. It's quite a bit cheaper in the long run than what we're paying out to El Dorado for our annual support. You know, it's about $1,200 a year to El Dorado for our annual support, you know. I, I, I use a credit card so little. I may not, I may not, you may like to ask this question, but if no one pays us with a credit card, mm -hmm. I know, that, I know that I've been in line and I see somebody say, well, this is refused. So if they refuse, that's not a problem. But if we take it, they don't pay a credit card or something like that. We, 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 don't, we still have our money. Yes. Once, once, we, once we take it, yeah. it is, it is accepted. Yes. Okay. That's just like if they do it through a debit card. I pay a couple of my bills online like that, Mr. Mayor, and uh, <clears throat> it won't go through on the debit card. Or if it's over the limit, on credit or on the credit still go through or they sit and just put a penalty on the customer. But either way we'll have the money that won't come back. Well, this is just something y'all to look at that we may want to go to. Now is there a charge of paying it online? Um, paying it online? No. We get a lot of payments online now. Really? Yeah the bank they do bill pay through the bank and the bank just sends us a check. Every month we got a lot of customers that do that now. Yes, it is. That's all, that's all we got now. But that, uh, yeah, that's it, yes. That's the minimum. Mm -hmm. So the annual fees will be cheaper. I just made it to get there. So mm -hmm. I'm asking. Yeah. Are you recommending that we change or? 
this this don't tell us this I am got one page got one page yeah there. it was a two hour or two and a half three hour webinar I was on with them yeah but I'm gonna check with the the municipalities that they have sent the lease for that has it around us and see how they like it and see if they like it because each of these municipalities were on the other road okay. so now they have switched to this so I'm gonna check with those and I'll report back to y'all. <coughs> But we got to so this is <coughs> Yeah, because we we've, we've already paid our annual fee to our budget year in time. Money wise I see it saves us. Yeah, it saves us again. It gives more convenience. Mm -hmm. But I say we wait till we get back from you and then make a recommendation. Okay. I mean you should have three things added to this number. I don't. You don't have that. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> You don't have something to add. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that likes to speak to us tonight? We'll take the time to reach them. Thank you. All right. Members of the council, uh, I've got a couple of things. One of them, our video system uh, that we just sold a year or so ago. And uh, uh, may have done some good to begin with, but it's my understanding that it doesn't. Work now or does it work? We can't get it to come up. We can't and are you familiar with this? I, I don't know what you know, what you don't. So, yeah, yeah. Can you get that guy? We named it and we get it back out of here. That's, that's the problem. That's the problem. We can't get it back. We got now it. we're paying a 200 something dollar phone bill down there for that internet. You know, if we need to get rid of the a phone bill down there or get rid of the system and get something that works. Sounds to me like you need to get rid of what's down there. If we ever discuss anything and you, you're not familiar yet, or, or you two either, for that matter, if me and Ms. Palmer can help you, please, please interrupt us and stop. There's a video system down there that, that records, and we put it down there on the recommendation of our former maintenance director, uh, vandalism and some things like that. He had he had one for his personal use at his home, and it helped him a lot. So you can dial it in and tune it in. But but if it isn't working, it's it's no good to us. And and uh, of course our vandalism is is down some. Maybe maybe the camera or a presence or and we to tell me it's not working. There. Don't don't yeah. tell me it ain't working. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's you tell right. me it ain't working. Yeah, but uh, that's something maybe uh, it's hard for you to work with. Or we're going to get finding a replacement or finding the person that's got to fix it. Or do we have a maintenance contract? Mm -hmm. No. Well, I don't have a suggestion. Okay. Uh, buddy Hall. Uh, I don't know if it's real name. I'm just talking to Buddy. Uh, he does some stuff like that. He may be able to look at it and see if he can fix it for us. You know, Travis Moses do the satellite internet. One reason I thought about buddies, he was just at the church yesterday uh, checking some stuff for us and had it up running in no time. So that's just a thought if you want to get a hold of him. You know, so, are we, are I can't try it. Are we paying that guy that we can't get over? No. We don't pay him. I fell into a thing like we did with the church on our website. We paid and installed. Mm -hmm. No, we paid a private contractor and we set up a system. And I can access it from here, but it just comes up all black. You know, we access it from the town hall later. My concern is that with the, with the spring and summer coming on, and the ball, there will be a lot more people down there, and lots more traffic, lots more eyes are looking around, and lots more busy passing <coughs> the door. All kinds of things can happen. And if, it's going, if it's something that's going to do us any good, we need to. They need to be working. Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. Can I say something? Inside the room, closest to the ladies' restroom, can we get that box moved up? When they come and fix it, we we'll probably get it moved up. I, I, I say leave the cameras there. That's that's my personal opinion. It has deterred vandalism. <coughs> but that box in that room is right at eye level to a normal person. I can probably walk mm -hmm. under, but everybody else can. <laughs> <coughs> so we'll make a note of that, sir. Hey, that's a good proper tool to you You need to leave that alone. And well, at, at, at King and Twain and, and during Fun Day, those folks. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. We even put a table on it. If we do, if we could get somebody down there, that would be that would be something good. Uh, are you going to address the drainage thing down there at the Washington Palace? No, but I can do that for a while. Okay. I did. Yep. I yep. went to the county yard. Okay. And uh, Marvin was supposed to be working on it. Cotton Pack Trail. Our spring rains will be coming soon. Our spring rains will be coming soon. Our spring March is our hazardous weather month and tornadoes and rainstorms. Last time I talked to Cleo about it, he was supposed to get up with Terrell at the last commission meeting yeah. and look at it, but I haven't heard from him. Okay. I'll get with him again. Please do. Uh, our waste management contract, when did we have to do anything to it? Mm, we just renewed for two weeks or three next year. Check. Uh, I saw where the county was able to negotiate their contract and it may be something from our contract is ready to be negotiated again. Uh, the county is getting a dumpster uh, maybe a couple of times a year to receive white goods and, and some things like that. Uh, so you've got a general connection with Try not to take advantage of that for our friendship. I'll get with it. <laughs> if we could get a if we could get a dumpster down here, right on this fence, down here or anywhere, anywhere, a couple times a year, some of these old refrigerators and that I get we need out of town. Uh, even if they just get up to the edge of the right of way, our inmates can right do right something right. with them and and, and uh, this this clean Ronnie Bay. This clean it, this clean it up, <coughs> this clean it up ain't moving very fast at all. And if we can do anything to help, that might be. And the last thing that I have is, uh, I suppose our website is history. Well, we got some information on one. Yeah, we haven't got one yet. But well, we got some information in here on one that I'm going to talk to them about. It's $125 a year. Yeah. And that's it. Please, would you put that on the table with items and please report mm -hmm. back to us? Okay. All right, uh, Ms. Palmer. Uh, Oh, I was. I was. <clears throat> Mr. Goodman, Mr. Goodman had an experience a while ago, and or, or shared with us an experience. And I, I don't know. Uh, I, I may be thinking that. Are you, are you talking about some code issues or some code enforcement or something like that? I was just going to ask. About I noticed the supermarket thing didn't come down. They got a contract on cleaning. Okay. Well, what, I, what, I, what I was going to ask is. Uh, the county uh, code enforcement comes with planning and zoning. As it's, it, planning and zoning kind of created. Uh, and, <coughs> uh, and there are codes besides land use codes. But, uh, but we already paid the county to do our planning for us. They, they have the planner, they have the uh, West Florida Regional Planning Council contact, contracts, and things like that. <coughs> our price has not gone up in probably 20 years uh, for, for planning. Um, they do have a code enforcement board, maybe even a code enforcement officer. I'm not sure. They, they have a turnover in that office a little bit, so I'm not sure that I'm right with that, but they have had it. If they don't they have don't. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, are we interested in contracting with them to do the code enforcement? And because because they have a, I think that they would have a quicker route to the courts, route to to enforcement, maybe than what we do. You know, them coming down here and uh, doing stuff. They, they they can come in on a call, or we could have it so that they come perhaps. Now I know the city of Chippewa has a code enforcement officer, and if you if you read the paper, they stay busy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't Actually, know if the they... police department has taken over code enforcement. This for the city of Chippewa. <coughs> enforcement officer now carries a gun. People are complying. Nothing wrong. Well, I, I, over the years it seems like it's been effective. I've washed and uh, twenty-five dollars a day fine or fifty or whatever it is, and, and pretty soon they're back in there and they cleaned up or they get extension or they're making a, a agreement or something like that. And uh, absent of absent a, an individual who has some kind of uh, citation authority or, or arrest authority or something like that, 
I think this might be our best bet is to see if we could get Mr. Hamilton to uh, to agree with it. Mr. Mayor, when uh, <clears throat> I pulled it up just to see what the qualifications were, and uh, I can't take a single person in Walsall that's qualified to be a code enforcement officer, to be honest with you. Well, if our, they have to have so if our attorneys want it, and the reason I mentioned it, because if he's going to work on that, on that ordinance, we're going to put fines in there. He may want to pull the sheep the ordinance, and, and maybe there may be some areas there that he could pull some language out from there that does what we want done because right now we just, it's just all kind of what it is. But I'll yeah. sure do something because that place we've had that for two years, the only thing's gone is the white car out of the oak tree. That's right. The rest of us there. Yeah. But if we get to the finding process that we're going to check, you know, we're going to have to we have to send one of your employees to get certified as code enforcement, but we're not with them. Nobody's certified as a code enforcement officer, and that's a lot of schooling, a lot of yes. testing, it's a lot of training. State boards. The the is we're good at making people mad. I see it. Big deal. I see it. We have done That's exactly. Go into the county. And I didn't mean to insult anybody when I said that nobody out there is qualified. It's just 100, I think it was 120 hours is a minimum in law enforcement class and some other certifications you have to have. And there's like eight levels of code enforcement. I've been on that code enforcement before and everybody that's ever been on it, they wanted to go from one or two certain ones. They didn't want to mess with nobody else. They'd go for them too. You can't do that. No. We got Hall saying, Bruce. That's right. And that way, if somebody gets mad at somebody. Okay, how do we, how do we, what we discussed, and how do we make that begin to happen? <coughs> yeah, is that something you can I can send a letter to Mr. Hamilton for question. Okay, is that all right with counsel? She was in that. Okay. All right, Mr. Paul, go ahead. That was it. That was it. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Cole. Can you practice? Can you can you learn 
that before we've tried to do that as training and the state will not allow us to burn. Uh, you, you go through it, it's a liability issue. Uh, you, you don't show do that in your, in your, through your training office or through the school when you've got people that... Do you have to go to certain we places? Have to go. Have to go, like we had to go through Chipola or you have to go to Niceville or somewhere like that to do a lot of... actual work. state functions with state mm. teachers. You have to go to a state... Before, I don't mind, mind them saying, well, I'm going home. Before you burn it, you got to take one your time. you got to take yeah. the level off of it. Yeah. Any side in the trunk got to come off. The insulation you got to come out. Is that side asbestos? Doing a live burn is probably what made me decide I, I wasn't uh, going, to, going to make a very good one. Uh, could have to be a fire. Trust me, we'd love nothing more than to use it as a training session. I think Travis Griff can take care of it about 30 seconds. We're going to try to come. Person. Person. Yeah. One guy got my suggestion. My suggestion is get with Sam. You see what trains he can pull. It may be something, but like I say, you got to, there's so much that's got to come out of it before you can even do it. Well, for sure, we weren't done legally. Yeah. <coughs> we want to do the, the press, uh, the public, anybody wants to be there, and we want to make sure that we got certified or trainees. We want to. We don't, Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Colworth has made a recommendation that we uh, that we uh, demolish or get rid of the house. Uh, do we want to? Uh, what services do we have to be? Can, can we just hire somebody in that, or we've got to go through a request for proposals for? Who? Somebody, whatever the bank would think that I can't see Travis charges that much. I can't see his giving you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a little truck we just bought a couple of times. We can pick it up. There's a couple of guys that does it on the side. Yeah. Can our animates do it? It's not as best as they can. Yeah, we're, we're running into that right now. We're running into that big county right now. As best as. I mean, check and see what I can find out and report back. Is it a public hazard right now? No. Would no. you please bring us something, even if you have to consult with the attorney about what our bid, bid situation would be there? Uh, okay. okay. Thank you. Mr. Carter. Uh, about a month and a half ago, Mr. Betty's boss named Mike. I can't think of his last name right now. He was in here and he was brought to my attention that her training period is fixing to end. And uh, she then asked about still being here part time. And uh, I asked her to uh, put some stuff together that would legitimately make it feasible for her to be here. And uh, if you see on the paper there, she's listed several things. She helps Margaret uh, open and close in their absence. Uh, she keeps the office open when uh, Marcus comes to lunch or a doctor's appointment. To run the chores, taking payments, posting them, copying them. She come in and see her put these books together for us. If we have somebody, we're going to have to advertise. Yes. Is she getting paid through like a government She's getting paid through NBC, NCBA right now. Uh, and, uh, she's getting paid minimum. Yes. Yes, minimum wage now. Now that will come to an end because they, she, she's qualified and trained to do. And we're putting her in another position somewhere else. Yes, ma'am. Or they will they need her trained uh, 
That's where I'm looking for. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I could see she could. The one thing that I really stood out to me was when Margaret has to be gone somewhere. And also, she said she was willing to come up here from like 8 to 2 on a Friday uh, and be open that day sometimes. You still have to advertise. So I told her I'd bring it before you all. This would be a good job, well, a good job thanks to advertise. This would be good. In, uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, are we going to get that grant again or whatever it's called, yes, that funding again? Do we, do we get it? Yes. A year or time, two years at the time? They said it's over in the program and it's all over. It's all over. It's all over. I looked at a minute ago and I thought that the last time that we did that that's what we decided was that we would, that there was going to be a uh, you yeah, and that's we didn't do the and things like that too. Yeah. Now he did tell me if we did hire her on in that position or whoever we decided, I mean, said it's going to be running, that they could still bring us a person to help Jimbo with maintenance and stuff right yeah. here. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And they could still pay him. The only difference is we'd be paying her instead of paying someone to hire part time to work for Jimbo. And, work with Jimbo. and uh, she asked me, and I, I seen a little bit, and I told her I'd present to y'all, and of course. So the program will only send us one person? Would you, the program, the... the what was it the program? No, they'll be there at a certain time. Yeah, we'll be there at a certain time. Then they'll be missing somebody else. Yeah, we'll have to, uh, Larry, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Larry Dawson. We, 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 I think we can get it. So we can get, we can get a part-time help for maintenance and then get a part-time help for Margaret yes. through that program. And then that thing holds. That's over. Okay. And, and, and certainly, certainly that doesn't preclude you from making a motion to advertise. And we, can, we can see where that goes and that's it was just a thought, Mr. Mayor. I see, <coughs> I see where they can get a little bit of me. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to get a little bit of 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 No motion. Anything else? Yes, okay. Ms. Carter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Seems to me like Pawson Palace is sure not being used very much. Nobody wants it. 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 Nobody you, uh, I have still you in the Brad's office. We're still searching and digging, trying to oh. get some money to refurbish. Okay. I just want to bring it. I'm sorry I hadn't called you. Told you I apologize. Okay. Possum Palace was only used five times last year. One of them was for a revival for yeah. Christmas break. Yeah. So we have the heater tree units down there, and the you know the, the fire department uses. You know we don't bring it out there in July and August <coughs> for Father's Day. Uh, the dog show uses it about twice a year, usually in March or April, and then again around Thanksgiving weekend. The hindrances is the only reunion that we've got down there now that still uses. I know when we first started having our family reunion, we used the Possum Palace. And the reason we had to get the first weekend in March because it was booked up all year long. But now, you know, if we wanted to use it, it wouldn't be no problem because there's nobody there to use it. Mm -hmm. Every Saturday was a yeah. reunion, sometimes Saturday and Sunday. And most people, yeah. I mean, a lot of that is people's good having reunions. 
There's nine, there's nine there's permanent, permanent, permanent or recurring boot things. That's this one. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the next page. That's town hall. No, there's only six for the um, pass. Oh, that's town hall. Yeah, town hall. Okay. Yeah. There's there's nine and, and, and I pay for four of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, these fees, these fees, do the ones, the ones that shows the fees on the, on the, on the first, on that first page there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now these are, these are on the fee charge. I mean, these are on the big chart or something. Yeah, our hospital palace fees, the rooms are going to be big, and if you get all of it down there, everything down there is $80.25 a day. Okay. Uh, pavilion in the bathroom is $53.50 a day. Okay. The parking pavilion area, we don't charge for that. The Development Club, no charge. Benefits, no charge. Revival, once a year, no charge. The department, you know, they use it during Sunday. Easter, whatever, no charge. Okay. I remember the charge thing we did way back. Mm -hmm. Last century, we uh, if the if the city co-sponsored something else, how the fire department mm -hmm. got it and fund days mm -hmm. and things like that. So, so there's only two things. Well, we used to have I don't see, just heavy fine. What's that? We used to have it, these <coughs> the benefits or the thing, or the uses of it if it was a not for profit or for profit and there was a difference in the fees. If somebody went down there and had an all day flea market or something like that, they paid a little price and if I went down there and we paid another price. Now now let's see, I'm saying with benefits, it, it would change the it would change the fee schedule or, or do we just need to set us a warning? Several years ago it changed about the benefits. I don't remember when, you know, but no, these these have been uh, okay. It used to be fifty three, fifty dollars for everything down there, and you went up several years ago to seventy five dollars plus. You know, we always had to pay tax on that. You know, even for the benefits, what what do we we you know? We didn't charge. We don't charge. We don't charge for like the one coming up in the first day for time. I understand. Don't charge. But well, what if I don't have a benefit? We well, couldn't charge. And probably don't benefit nobody but me. <laughs> I would have a front porch been defeated. I would be able to, to, be able to retain a wall around my house and, mm -hmm. and rework the front porch so I would go down and have a benefit. Right. And do that with no charge. Now, that's, that's a fundraiser. That's not that the wrestling and you know the dog showing all day are eighty dollars and twenty five cents a day, plus if they bring in camper hookups, it's eight dollars per hookup per night that they stay there that they do the thing. Did they pay a deposit fee? Oh, they didn't start charging me. A deposit fee? Yes. At one time we had a deposit fee and a fee. If you can't do it, you got to deposit it back and you, but you rent your debt. And here it's town hall. Very bad. You don't need to go up there. It's town hall. Because those people are already paying taxes. On everything that comes through. The water bill goes up every October. And the taxing is the death, and then we want to raise the rent. That's why raising the rent is just wanted to charge a deposit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And in a way, it's also being charged taxes by Warsaw. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Don't you get the tax problem? You tell them. Well, you know, they, they are franchise. That's a franchise. Our franchise fees, but they don't pay the property taxes. or don't pay. Uh, you know, we don't have to see sales tax. We don't, we don't have any. You want to charge fifteen bucks for electricity down there? They ain't paying. They ain't paying taxes on the city hall. Huh? You want to charge eight dollars on? You told me that. Ten percent of whatever your bill is, you pay ten percent of that to the town of Walsall. We get a check for West Park Electric every month. And we have to do that because we have to match. No, 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 I, I'm not complaining. Everywhere else is anywhere from 35 to 55. You know, we have to we have to match our in order to get state revenue yeah. sharing. We have to raise oh, nice some local. Very bad. Right next page. to your right next to your homes. Are you last page? You gotta say in favor March.
the, the poles that's down there that the electricals on that, there's a lot of damage going to be replaced before Sunday. Yeah, I'm thinking we got a, I'm thinking we got a, a, a very reasonable and perhaps a, a very low runway. Uh, if we check on the accident and chiefly, mm. check on the yeah, yeah, we're we're not we're not nearly in the game, and um, and, and if we if we're talking about the town hall. Again, there's, there's nine things scheduled this year between me and Mr. Carter. We've got six of them. <laughs> so, so if we go up, if we go up down here, I mean, we got, there's going to be maintenance. Yes. Why would there be maintenance? And where's that maintenance going to come from? And there ain't a lot of folks using it, so we go up. Uh, Under the one well, exception the there at the Possum Palace, and it's going to sound crazy, but if somebody uses the Possum Palace, say on a, <clears throat> a Friday night, and they clean it up, and none of us or whoever need to go look at it and make sure it was cleaned up until Saturday afternoon, and the wind's blowing, well, I swept that thing off many, many times. The sand that turned around an hour later, and the wind blowing, it's covered again. So yep. that would be the only exception. I would say we take any consideration for not giving a cleanup fee back to someone. Well, now, I don't think I'm going to for the town hall. Well, if you have if you have a uh, and you have uh, overlapping, uh, she might come in and have her uh, meeting uh, her family in the morning. And I may have mine at night and and leave with May you know, I got to do some that's part of the back and I got there. And so so uh, and, and I, I probably I probably would be of the nature if you charge me a clean up feet, clean up and I'm that. I ain't gonna clean up. I'm gonna take my dick. I'm gonna take my dick. Really gonna be in the take my dick. Well I, I you know I'm not gonna leave the junk to trash and most people are, but bathroom <coughs> and, and some other things. When, I, when we leave, we take the take the dish rags home and wash them and bring them back. Things like that. I, I don't know. Maybe everybody does. But. No, they don't. No, there's some that don't. Well, it's just like in real place. You have a deposit. Mm -hmm. and I, didn't you know, I, I didn't know I was the only one to pay. Well, Jake can pay, but she just she just got. Well, she just got. She just moved. She just paid. This is deep. This is deep business. Deep business for her. Yeah. <laughs> If you come back next year, I'll be paid again. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm not going to ask somebody else to do something I ain't going to do. and Garden Club, that's a community thing. USDA, that's a, you know, there's lots of things on there that you that you don't want to charge. You won't be able to use, but parties and, parties and things like that. I mean, we have we don't have a lot more than what's listed here. We have a few that are coming, like we got Raspin coming to the Possum Palace the 25th of March. 25th of this month, Raspin will be at Possum Palace. They sponsor staff. They sponsor their sales. They pay. They're looking for a place to come. Yeah. So they can come in for $80. And they can get and 25 cents. They can get to Possum Palace. They can make three thousand dollars or whatever. They left you to make seventy-five down there. Yeah, they left you to make fifty dollars. Understand? But if I, I could bring a gun crew down there and pay that same eighty dollars and make them make them meet. Just like a dog show, you said that's a big ticket thing. They pay their eighty-five dollars. I don't think they own seats. Those ain't It's too much to ask when you run out of building. Hundred dollars flat across the board with the deposit for cleaning the fee, or fifty dollars. I'm gonna say we do that. It's just my suggestion. Because you, you ain't gonna get nowhere else any cheaper. Yeah, but this is nice to be no, I promise you, it, 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 it's not bad for us. No. Go rent the Vernon. Go rent the Vernon Community Center Hall. 
It's two hundred and fifty dollars. Go get that. Go to Sun Hill Civic Center. Because we rent it every year for the sports banquets. So we get an idea to bring that. Do you think now, or you want to chase down some of them leads and bring them back to us another time? Let's bring them back another time. Another now? Okay. Let me just grab it. Yeah. I appreciate you checking it. All right. And I think you're right with the firefighters. Uh, all the things down there that aren't maybe they should be, but. All right. Mr. Stanley did not come back, I see. Anybody in the audience need to see the council? You got one other thing. Ah, I got this disinformation. Ah, <laughs> Paul brought it to my attention this afternoon. We've got a problem up on Forest Avenue. I think we've got a pipe that's undermined. We're going to put some barricades up tomorrow on that hole, but it's, I'm going to address it with Washington County probably Monday morning. But it's bad. Okay. It's going to be bad. On, on, on had one right there at the four way stop Tom Bunn. What about that thing? Yeah. Is that water still leaking on the north side of the forest? Is it still bubbling up under the road? Side to side of the road? I didn't look safe. I know okay. it has. I had forgot about that. And I asked forgiveness, but Jim would have brought it to my teacher, but he said he couldn't do that to find it until some other guy that knows how to locate it with a different device than what we have. The uh, rural, rural water. Yes, sir. That's, I couldn't get here on the last week, but. I know he was going to let me know when they were coming and it took my mind. Well, that, 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 and that's that, probably why he's washed out. Anybody got anything here?